Now, another thing that I've actually been thinking about is uh, machinima. <laughs> As y'all know, I've experimented with machinima with uh, two of my videos. Uh, uh, American uh, Roadrunner in England, which I used uh, Need for Speed High Stakes. And uh, the uh, fictional trailer for Karma Agent, which, uh, which I created using, uh, using the video game, uh, the movies. As well as uh, the movies with uh, with its expansion pack, uh, uh, stunt and effect, stunts and effects. Now, uh, I've been playing uh, Grand Theft Auto Online as well as Second Life and stuff like that. Uh, but when it comes to Grand Theft Auto, they have like a director's mode, which is unlocked. You unlock characters as you play this through the single player, which is you know not bad. You know it sounds, it sounds interesting, and I've seen some of uh, the mission demo that's been made, and it's you know it seems kind of cool. But the thing is, is that I kind of wish a company like Rockstar would create an open world machinima tool. Excuse me. Uh, whew. I wish Machinima... I mean, I wish Rockstar would make a Machinima tool that's open world like Grand Theft Auto, but does, doesn't require story, but it gives you access to assets that you can use to create your own stuff. I mean, when, when the movies came out, I mean, one, uh, you know, it did seem like rather promising that, that it gives you the ability to create your own movies. I mean, it's like... You know, customize like customize and control your stars. Uh, you know, edit and share your videos online, kind of thing. Uh, create your own films, which are all good. But the problem is, is that with them, with it, is that you have you're stuck with it being. I mean, it's basically a film studio simulator. So that means you have to play through the game. You have to unlock all the assets and stuff like that in order to gain access to them. And and you also have to build the sets to, to gain access to them. And of course, don't get me wrong. I mean, I mean, the movies is a pretty good you know machinima making tool. In fact, uh, uh, there's uh, still some users that create mods for uh, the movies. Call uh, one of the websites is called Eight Eye Baby. But I look at Grand Theft Auto and I see so much potential, and I think think of how amazing it would be if Rockstar did a open world game where basically you're able to set up movies, spawn characters and all that, basically taking out the director mode, uh, taking the direct mode and expanding it without having to worry about story uh, and whatnot so that way people can create their own machinima and use it for whatever purposes they need to, like if they need to uh, if they need to storyboard a scene or create, uh, you know, uh, animatics, uh, you know, they could be able to do it with the with the game without having to worry about licensing and stuff like that, and you know, and all that. And I think it would be interesting to have that kind of thing, you know, being able to set up like whatever genre you want, you know. Of course, have the the world be with like several areas like you have like a big city setting that uh, that you can modify you have like a small town setting that you can modify you could have uh, you know ancient ruins area where you can, again you can modify you know do you know basically have not uh, and then you have like a giant sandbox area where you can construct where you can put together your own uh, like sci-fi movies and stuff like that if you need like build sets and stuff like that you know, you can have, get access, uh, you know, assets for it, like, from a community-driven marketplace where you're able to, you know, download those assets and put it to, into your game so that way you're able to make, a, you know, whatever machinima you want. And, you know, I think it would be interesting to have it where, uh, a machinima tool where you're not having to stuck, having to play a single player mode to unlock everything and still give you access to you to be able to to film and stuff like that. Of course that's just my I I mean I, I mean that's just my idea. I could very well be wrong on that uh, that uh, you know on the idea. I think many people may not like the idea. But it just I think it would be interesting to be able to have that kind of program created by a company like Rockstar. I mean granted Rockstar's 
uh, you know, great at uh, you know creating story and whatnot. I mean, I, one of my favorite games is their uh, adaptation of the movie The Warriors, which I thought was freaking awesome game. My dad even played it, and he liked it, and he's not even a fan of the film. And um, but I think you know by having something like that uh, for a machinima making tool. You know, just have it where it's an open world where you can be able to build and use it to create machinima, however way you, any way of whatever genre, however you want it, would be pretty freaking awesome. Now, of course, you know, I know there's some, I mean, I know there's a program out called uh, Movie Storm that came out a while ago that, that does sort of the same thing, uh, where it's basically, you know, you know, a machinima making tool that's dedicated to creating machinima. But the problem with it, it was, I mean, it's been a while. Maybe they fixed it. I don't know. But I don't know if they fixed uh, some of the problems with it or not. But a while ago, when I tried it, one of the issues I saw was with the animation. Like, it felt like, okay, when a, when a person walks, you know how, how a person walks. You know, they walk fluidly. You know, they're walking with their hands at their side. Things are normal. But in Movie Storm, when I when I first came across it, basically they were walking almost almost robotically, like I'm like, yeah, that you know that's gonna distract people. But but if like some if Rockstar could do something like that for for a machinima making tool in general, you know, yeah, and yeah, I think it would probably be useful. Maybe uh maybe spark up, you know, uh, interest in Machinima once again. I mean, granted, uh, Red vs. Blue is still around. I love Red vs. Blue. And I'm, you know, impressed to, that they continue on. In fact, uh, and that they, they continue on. But they, but when it comes to some of the segments for the, uh, for their series now, like for like an extreme like fist fight, for an example, uh, they would have to utilize Maya. And honestly, I don't know how to use Maya. I, I mean, I, I look, I mean, when I sit down and uh, look at a 3D, you know, cre a model creation program, I sit there and I'm like, I mean, even with the basic tutorial, I'm sitting, I'm like, way over my head. I mean, I could try to find tutorials on it on YouTube to try to figure out how to do something like how to begin the program. Where do you start your workflow? How do you create a model? How do you modify that model? And yet, all these, and when it comes to every one of those videos, it's like they're talking Greek. I want something that I can be able to, I mean, I mean, Maya would be great for me to use if I wanted to get into, into doing Machinima. But I love the idea of something like Grand Theft Auto Director's Mode, where you control your character, you act out your uh, your performance, then you go back and then set uh, the uh, set up your cameras how you want them, uh, then film, you know, then record the the action, then bring it into some sort of editor where you're able to edit it, without having all the headache of trying to figure out how to create a model from scratch. Me, I, I mean. But then, then again, you know that's how I am. Me, I love the idea of you know of trying to build a model uh, a uh, a model out of uh, you know. Okay, I mean I grew up with Legos. I love Legos. I mean if somebody could create a a three D making program where you're able to build models out of shapes in the sort of similar style with of Legos where you would like with Legos where you're trying to figure out how to get everything to work, you know. As you're building it and putting things together and stuff like that, and then you know I would probably be okay with that. But I want—I mean, I would love to have something that can create machinima without having the headache of trying to figure out how to create models, how to create the world, how to to shade things and stuff like that. You know, I want something that that'd be ready. You know, to go. I mean, the movies, the movies sort of had something like that where, you know, you get, but, uh, but they also had, you know, the, uh, basically you have, you already have the assets in there, 
I mean, even with the sense and effect, even more so with the sense effects, because they added the camera and uh, a uh, modifiable camera, whereas before it was all static. You know, you're stuck with you know presets. But I want to be able to have something that I can be able to create something with it, and not have the headache of trying to figure out how to create it. You know, and I think you know if Rockstar could do that with something, with take the director's mode and create like an open world. Machinima tool, like like how they did with do with their games with the Grand Theft Auto, I think it could probably uh, it could probably be a very useful tool. But of course, that's just me. <laughs> it's just an idea that I like to toss out there. Uh, Rockstar is a uh, you know, if y'all are watching, you know, please take the idea and run with it. I would love to have that kind of uh, that kind of a uh, you know that kind of a uh, Machinima making tool. But if not, you know. Hopefully some other company can come up with it.